What is good, family? What is good? It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. Super Bowl is here. Let me give y'all my analysis for this year's Super Bowl. Tampa Bay Bucks versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Tom Brady, first of all. First of all, you got Tom Brady though. And the Bucks, the only team to play the Super Bowl in their home stadium. Only Tom Brady could do shit like that. Only Tom Brady. So he's at home. They're playing in Tampa. But he's at home playing in Tampa. But the Bucks was just down there a few weeks ago and won 27-24. I mean, the, the, the Chiefs were just down there a few weeks, some weeks ago, and they won 27-24. Now, you've heard a lot of analysis about this game. But when I look at it, it's very simple. It's very simple. What the Chiefs do well, the Bucks don't defend well. What the Chiefs do well defensively, the Bucks don't defend well offensively. Let's, let's talk about the Chiefs defense. Chiefs defense, I made a post early in the season that their defense would be their killers here because they can't stop the run. This is a team who runs downhill, man blocking, two tight ends, and this is Tampa Bay all day, every day. They got to take those two tight ends, Gronk and the other tight end. They're going to run two tight ends, Leonard Fournette, you know, play, play action. This is what they do. Bring Tyron Matthew up, put him in the box. No risk it, no biscuit. They go over the top. This is what they do. But when I look at how the Chiefs get pressure on the quarterback, Who's their best pass rusher? Chris Jones, defensive tackle. How do you best affect, negatively affect Tom Brady? Getting pressure right up the middle, right up the A-gap. And you're able to get pressure right up the A-gap. I look at their defensive coordinator, Steve Spagnuolo. Has a history of pissing off Tom Brady. Has a history of shaking him the fuck up. Getting him off his spot. Has a history of this. Nobody's talking about the Chiefs defense, and I'm actually going to talk about it because I think the Chiefs defense will actually be a, a, a difference maker in this ball game. As far as I look at the Chiefs offensively, yes, they won't have their tackles. We got Andy Reid with two weeks of preparation. Andy Reid after two weeks of preparation is money in the bank. <laughs> That's one, and they're going to find creative ways. For Patrick Mahomes to get rid of the ball quickly, so he's not going to have big five and seven step drops where the pass rush from the edges can be effective. He's not going to be doing that. The, the, um, where I want to see is I want to see Patrick Mahomes, the one flaw I see in Patrick Mahomes, the best quarterback talent wise I've ever seen. One flaw I see in his game, and he's often rewarded in doing this because he, he has such great ability, arm strength to throw it off at any angle, and he has great receivers. He doesn't take what the defense gives him. Often, he's able to play hero ball and get away with it. He's able to do a lot of things that other quarterbacks stop playing hero ball, take the check down. Patrick Mahomes, I think in this game, he's gonna have to take the check down. I think in this game, McCole Harmon, we all talk, you hear me talk about how fast he is. McCole Harmon's going to get a lot of one on ones. Demarcus Robinson's going to get a lot of one on ones. Sammy Watkins is going to get a lot of one on ones. Sammy Watkins is in a contract year. And you're going to get a lot of one on ones. Somebody need to refresh my memory. Wasn't it Sammy Watkins that caught that big third down against Richard Sherman in last year's Super Bowl? Sammy Watkins is in a contract year. And he's going to get a lot of one-on-ones because there's no way in hell Tyreek Hill is going to get covered one-on-one -on -one like they did in that regular season game. No way in hell. That was the dumbest decision ever. Why did it take 200 yards in the first quarter for you to realize that? I don't know, but 
I like Tampa's coaching staff, but Todd Bowles, dumb move. Really dumb move. Um, <laughs> really dumb move. But moving forward. Um, I think that they're going to find creative ways for them to get rid of the ball quickly. And Tampa's going to rely on their front with those two good linebackers to shut down the run because they're going to have numbers because Tampa is not by far, especially with Vita's in, they're by far the number one rush defense. Like I told you in the middle of the season, beginning before the season started, they get Tom Brady. Okay, my concern was, was he going to be able to re-sign Shaq Barrett, Jason Pierre-Paul, and then Dominican Sue. They did all that. I told you he gets those three guys, the defense will be intact. They'll be playing with leads because you can't run the football on them. Not in the Super Bowl. But hey. They're going to have a lot of times to run with just six in a box. Now, Tampa is able to shut down the run game with just six in a box. They're able to do that. If the Chiefs, because Andy Reid's so creative, can generate a respectable amount of a run game against that, which they should be able to because they're only going to have six in a box. The Chiefs win. I think Tom Brady and them are going to be successful. They're going to be successful uh, on offense running the football to some degree. But I think Tyron Matthew is going to make some plays. I think everybody talking about turnovers. I think Tyron Matthew is going to come up with a turnover. And lo and behold, I think the Chiefs are going to win. <laughs> Look. Betting against Tom Brady in Tampa, I wouldn't do it. But the reason why I'm doing it is because number 15 on Kansas City, his name is Patrick Mahomes. I can't go against him. Tampa has the game plan to do it. Once again, the Chiefs are going against top to bottom a more talented team in the Super Bowl, like San Fran last year. Um, his last two losses, real losses, Patrick Mahomes were against Oakland this year. They ran the ball and pressured. But Kate, um, Tennessee in the regular season last year, Derrick Henry, they ran the ball and got pressure. That's such a small sample. It's, it's so few and far in between of who can actually do that. And there are a bunch of teams they played that had the talent to do that, but can you do that and still get the win? The Raiders did that in the second game. Guess what? They didn't get the win. San Fran did it last year in the Super Bowl. Guess what? They didn't get the win. They didn't get the win. There were other teams this year that did that. The KC, guess what? They didn't get the win. The Chargers did it this year and didn't get the win. Tampa Bay is going to do that. But they're not going to get the win. Chiefs win. I'm taking Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. That's my take. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe, your boy on the sports guru. Now, salute.